So Bob, uh, I was talking to one of our customers about resin-backed gauges. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, Becky. Let's uh, go over some of the standard procedures first. You know, normally a customer would uh, take the gauge and apply adhesive using a brush similar to, to this to the back of the gauge and then position a the gauge and tape it and clamp it and come up with an installation similar to what's shown on this aluminum uh, transducer. But the resin back gauges take some of this uh, work out of this project, out of this job. Um, what we do is during the manufacturing process, we apply adhesive to the back of the gauge then B stage it, which basically means just drying it so that all the solvents are driven off. And it's dry to the touch, it doesn't attract lint, and it can then be placed onto the spring element. Uh, if the spring element's very thin, like these, uh, what we call hybrid sensors, then you can just tack it with a soldering iron in place, clamp it and cure it. If it's a thicker spring element like this aluminum load cell, you'd need to locate it, put a piece of tape over it, hold it, then clamp it and cure it. So the benefits of the B-stage gauges, the pre-applied resin, is that you don't have to buy a separate bottle of adhesive. You don't have to, uh, another inventory item that you have to control its, its storage and all that. Um, you, can handle the gauges with the adhesive on them and not worry about damaging them as long as you don't get them wet. Um, and it's just quick, it reduces, a pro it reduces one step in the process. The downside is that the gauges have pre-applied epoxy adhesive on them, so you have to store them in a clean environment and particularly away from moisture because the epoxy will absorb water. But the most best practice is, regardless of how you've stored them, and we recommend keeping them in the package enclosed until you're ready to use them, regardless of how you store them, you really should bake them at about 50 degrees C for 20 or 30 minutes, just to ensure all water is gone. And that way, when you apply it, you'll get an excellent uh, bond. So this is a, a uh, convenience to customers. Uh, a lot of transducer manufacturers use this technique uh, where they just take the gauges out of the package, they already have the adhesive on it, they're ready to go. So it just reduces one more step in the process. That's great, thanks.